Welcome to the St. Olaf tutorial for connecting the Panasonic projectors to the computer using MIDI through QLab. <clears throat> First of all, let's talk about the hardware. Here is a picture of the back of this computer. It currently has a Ethernet cable uh, connected to its Ethernet port, in this case the black one. Um, it's connected to an Ethernet switch. Uh, it does not matter which port you put it in. Uh, and then another Ethernet cable, in this case the white one that's going to the projector. Uh, it's better to use the switch. Uh, you have to use the switch unless you have a crossover cable. We recommend using a switch because you can add more projectors to it um, and a crossover cable. You cannot connect uh, just one cable directly from the computer to the projector. You have to either use a crossover cable or use a switch. In this case, we're using a switch. First of all, let's configure um, all of the settings. We have to configure the projector uh, MIDI program. We have to con uh, configure the network settings, and we also have to configure the MIDI controls in the set in the iMac settings. And we also have to set up QLab. So let's first start with the network settings. Go to the Apple button on the top left. Click down to software. Uh, system set preferences, go down, double click the or single click the network. You need to make sure that the Ethernet is green and connected. Don't use the Wi Fi. The Wi Fi is not connected to the projector. So connect the Ethernet. In the IP address, we need to make sure that the first three subnets are the same as the projector. Um, to find out what the subnet for the projector is, you need to uh, get your remote, <clears throat> turn it on. Click Menu, scroll down to Network, and then go to Network setting, uh, Network Status. In that uh, window of the Network Status, you should see the uh, IP address for the projector. It needs to be the same as these three, and different, the last one needs to be different than this one. So in this case, it is 192.168.100 and it's .101, which is different than this one. This one's 192.168.100.100. So we are okay um, in, this, in this case. Uh, get out of this. <clears throat> we'll want to set up the, uh, the uh, Apple MIDI uh, port. So we actually are doing this through software. So we're converting MIDI port to Ethernet. So the, computer, Apple needs to convert that for us. So we need to create a software bus. Um, a bus is sort of an output input device, and this one is the we're, we're sort of faking one. So you want to actually t type in on Spotlight MIDI, and you want to do the audio MIDI setup. You'll first show see the audio devices. You need to be able to, see, we want to see the MIDI devices. So go to Window, Show MIDI Window. Right here, you'll see AIC driver, and it should be grayed out. If it's not, it's okay, it's even better. Um, double click it. Uh, you want to click on devices online, and you want to create a port for it, so click on the plus port. Now you'll see AIC bus one. And now we're good. So get out of that. You want to get out of this, get out of this. Now we want to set up the projector uh, software that you can get from Todd or Kyle. And this one will just type in projector and it's called projector MIDI remote. You'll get this, actually let's exit out of this window. So you now you should see this. You should see no projectors added yet unless we have not removed a projector from a previous show. So click on the add button and it'll ask for what the projector address is. And it goes with this, it always seems to come with this particular um, IP address, which is not what we use. We, um, based on what the projector uh, settings say, we know that ours is 192.168.100.101. The password, don't click anything. You don't need to type in anything for the password unless Todd or I have added a password to the projector. Um, so click the add button and you can see that it's now connected based on this IP address. Uh, the status of the projector is that it's on and that the projector type is a Panasonic EZ570U. Uh, Let's just double check to make sure it really is connected and controlling it. We can do that by 
we don't want to test it by turning it off. So we want to do that by turning on the shutter, which means closing the shutter. Um, and uh, let's see if we if we can hear it with the uh, by clicking on the on button. So the projector is right behind me. I think you can probably hear it. I'm gonna turn it back. We're gonna open it again. Okay. Now let's go. We'll move this off to the side. Let's now click on QLab. Okay, so we start up with a new window of QLab. We want to change the settings to uh, be able to communicate with the A, the IAC driver uh, MIDI port. So click on MIDI, and then the MIDI patch. You want to make sure it's it's clicked on AIC driver AI IAC bus one. I'm gonna click done. Now let's set this up. Uh, let's start with a MIDI note. So you want to start with just creating a MIDI uh, cue. Let's change the title of this. So currently the shutter is open. So let's make one that closes the shutter. So we want to say projector shutter close. In this case, it's actually the shutter is on. So I'll just say just so that we know the shutter is on. You can see right here that it's grayed out on the shutter for the off. So um, we know currently the shutter is off or open. That can be kind of confusing. Make sure that the note is on. The settings, make sure that the settings, go to the settings one. Make sure that the MIDI destination is, a, is the first port, AIC driver, AIC bus one. If you're using um, a USB MIDI, it may be um, uh, port two, but just make sure it's AIC driver. You want the MIDI voice um, message there. You want to change the command from note on to control change. All of this, channel one, control number, and control value can stay the same. We need the, um, the fade duration on, but we also, but we need to make it zero. The reason is, is because the shutter doesn't, it's either on or off. It's, it's a quick switch on and off. There, there is no fade like some of the dowsers do. Um, and then the fade control is what it is. So currently we want it closed on. So with the, so zero is off and one is on. Great. Now over here on the MIDI control window, uh, you have what are CC or control change or control channel. So uh, CC one, so control uh, control channel one, and then what the uh, control number is on the side here. Uh, what we can do is we can actually change all of that by clicking learn, and then go into uh, QLab and click send message. Now you can see that the learn is no longer gray. Uh, the CC is now one, channel one, and control number 60. Um, now, let's try it. So, uh, we currently have the shutter off, and QLab, we have this as projector shutter close. So let's highlight the projector shutter and click go and see if we can hear the shutter close. Yep, and it closed. Now it's on the close. So we got, now if we hit it again, it's not, it's not a toggle, it will stay closed. Didn't hear anything. Do it again. Didn't hear anything. We're just reclosing it. So let's try it. Let's do another one to open the shutter. So we have, let's change the name to projector shutter open, or in this case, it is off or value set zero. Um, I got a sticky shift. Okay, so now we want to go to the settings. We want to make sure it's AIC driver, MIDI voice, and the command is control change. Uh, we want to make sure that it fades during duration. Click zero, so now it actually says instant fade. And we want the uh, control value to be zero. Uh, everything should be right. Let's just double check it. And we're gonna click go and see if we can hear it open. And it opens. So let's go through again. So close and open. Perfect. Now we can do the same thing with the power. Let's add another MIDI note and we're going to say projector power on. And then we want to make sure that the settings 
our MIDI destination is the IAC driver, MIDI voice message, send message, make the command control change. Now we want to change the control number. So right now we have control number 60 assigned to shutter. So let's just make this channel uh, control 61. And in order to make it work, oh, we, we forgot uh, fade duration. Make that zero. And uh, power on would be zero, or one, sorry, because on is one and zero is off. Now what we want to do is we want to click on the learn and send message. Now you'll notice, oh, it's 60. Did I not make that right? Right. Okay, learn. So message 61. Okay, so now the control is 61. Great. So um, we have it already on. So let's hit go. And nothing's happening because it's already on. Let's create another one to turn it off. Projector power off. Go back down here, AIC driver, MIDI voice change, command is control change. We want the control number to be one. We want the fade duration to be zero because it's gonna be instant. And we want the fade control value to be um, zero. Double check, that's right, yep, zero. All right, so now we can actually turn it off. What you'll see when we actually turn, um, uh, uh, go with the Q number four, which is the projector uh, power off, is that this will then say cooling down or turning off or something to that effect. So I'm gonna click on projector power off and click go. Let's find out why. Let's just double check, let's go to learn. Oh, right, the reason is, is because the control number is 60. We don't want that, we want it to be 61. There we go, now let's try it again. And project and say go. And nothing. Let's do a learn again. Learn, send message. Projector off. There we go, now it says cooling down. I'm not sure why I had to do the learn again, but now it's cooling down. You can see right here, and now the power um, button here is grayed in the off position. So I'm going to pause now until it does a completely turn off, and then we can test the power on button. Okay, so we're back. Uh, the fan has turned off on the projector, and you can see right here it says that the status um, of the projector is standby. So what we want to do is now test the power on. You'll see that the power off button is more gray and the shutter is on in the gray. So what we want to do is highlight in QLab projector power on and click go. And you can see now the status of the projector is now warm warm up. It might be an error by the developer and it's powered on. The shutter is currently in the on position, um, although I can see the Panasonic logo, so I think it'll probably change very soon. We've got 15 seconds for the warm up. That has to be to complete. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So now this, the warm up power on is now it says power on. Now let's double check the projector shutter and turn off, turn on. Power is already on and let's power it off. And you should see now that it's cooling down. Great, thank you.